Cafe. Anyway, it's FF episode 2844. It's Mike's Daddy Podcast. 2844, yes, that's the podcast number today. Mike Matthews broadcasting from Podcast Valley, the last place on earth somewhere in Mike's Daily Podcast. Ameritopica. Do you remember seven billion years ago when Kelly Clarkson beat that guy, Justin so and so? I forget his last name. Anyway, she did that and got popular and released some albums and. She kind of got fat, but then she got thin. But then she maybe used some kind of diet drug. We don't know. That's not important. The thing is, Mike's Daily Podcast. She was asked to replace Carrie, uh, Carrie Perry, Katy Perry, not Harry Carey. Mike's Katy Perry Daily. Harry Carey passed. Podcast. Katy Perry's still with us, as far as I know. Yeah. As of this recording. But yes. They asked her, would you like to host, be the judge on American Idol? It would come back full circle. You won on this, the first episode, and then now you're going to be a, a judge. And she does the voice already, so or had done it. But she said, no, no, I can't do that only because I promised my kids. I was like, I want to be there as much as I possibly can. She emphasized that the role would require her to be in Los Angeles, which is also why she stepped down from the voice and she says she misses that show a lot. Katy Perry announced earlier this year she'd be leaving the ABC show after six years. She's done six years of it. Echoed a similar sentiment about moving on. I think this is probably going to be my last show, my last season for Idol. She expressed her love for the show and its connection to the heart of America, but felt it was time to pursue other ventures. And she uh, see Clarkson, Kelly Clarkson, reflecting on her American Idol journey, acknowledged the profound impact the show had on, on her life. 20 years ago, I won American Idol and it forever changed the course of my life. She said she credited the show for opening numerous opportunities and creating invaluable partnerships. The moment was the door that that moment was the door that opened up so much access and opportunity and here's today's podcast picture and created partnerships that i will be grateful for for all my days the family and friendships i've created in these 20 years of music and tv are priceless to me we get only so many trips around the sun she said oh profound and while I'm proud and feel abundantly blessed by the successes and failures that I have learned from, I am most proud and grateful for those friends that have become family and for their arms that have held me when I needed it and their hearts that listened to me when I felt lost. Without them, I would not be where I am. I would probably not be here at all. Wow. There you go. It's the friends. It's the family. It's the people. It's the people that support us. That's what's important. That's what I learned about the late great Basil the Boxer. Such a friend, such a buddy. A man's best friend and all that. What a great guy. And he had a beautiful singing voice, like Kelly Clarkson. But should you ra- should you ra- should you rent or buy a house? Or should you ra- I don't know what ra is, but renting still wins the affordability contest. It does. According to Rob Black, I produce his podcast. He's heard on the Bay Area radio waves on AM 1220 KDOW weekday mornings and he is also on television Monday through Thursday on Cron. Rents have soared in the past year outpacing gains in home prices but it's still more affordable to rent than own a home in nearly 90% of the U.S. counties. Housing costs shouldn't make up more than 30% of your gross income. That is something people often don't get. So, the word of dog. Listen to Basil, and he will tell you. Don't, don't have it so that you're paying for a mortgage. A thirty over thirty percent of your gross income is going towards a mortgage. What percentage of the paycheck should go to rent? In Oakland, California, it says here. In the Oakland, California area 51% of your paycheck goes for renting But $108 would go towards owning a house In San Jose It would be less than that Almost 30% for renting Versus 83% for owning 
Rent for one bedroom units Plummeted Over 9% in Oakland Recently It's like a roller coaster. The front panel will close automatically. Please remain seated at all times. A roller coaster going up and down, just like uh, the rent prices. Rent for a one bedroom unit plummeted over 9% in Oakland. So that makes things about $800 a month cheaper. In San Francisco, there was a dip of about a little less than 2%. And then San Jose was down by about 2.3% since May of 2023. And he has the prices here. I'm wondering the, the, uh, how much a month, if this is the actual rent, 800 a month in Oakland, that seems cheap. $2,910 a month in San Francisco a month sounds about right. And in San Jose, 2000 much. Yeah, $2,536 a month is what I'm reading here. But you don't have to worry about any of those costs and expenses if you're Mr. Beast because somehow he has become the biggest thing on YouTube. His, his channel is the most subscribed. I am not subscribed to it, so I feel out of the loop and I'm okay with that. Think of him as the modern day Dick Clark or Ryan Seacrest. <laughs> Wait a minute, isn't Ryan Seacrest modern day? All right. Well, Mr. Beast has finally taken the crown of the YouTube most subscribed channel. Jimmy Donaldson is his name. And his channel is famous for its elaborate challenges with huge cash prizes and extravagant giveaways. That's how you get people. You give stuff away. Yeah, the more you get is equal to the weight. The more you give is the love you give is equal to the love you make. Wait. Whatever that Beatles quote was. Mr. Beast has reached over 266 million subscribers, passing the popular Indian music channel called T Series as we go outside a cafe anyway. Where are we bring you Mike's Daily Podcast? Somewhere in Podcastro Valley, the last place on earth in the land of Ameritopica. So he's been uploading videos to YouTube for over 10 years, actually for about 12 years now. And Jimmy Donaldson has expanded into the food business and his range of feastables, chocolates, and he's got a burger brand. Oh, wow. Even though, hmm, it's like, why would I get burgers from a guy on YouTube? Developing with Amazon, a game show for Amazon Prime. He's calling it the Beast Games. That will see 1,000 people compete for a prize of $5 million. That almost sounds like Hunger Games. Or uh, what was that other thing? The, 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 the other games. He earns $600 to $700 a year. Mike's out of left field recordings. Recording everything. Captures actions that will never again be repeated. That is out of left field for sure. And he says he reinvests everything he earns into his videos. That's what I do for this podcast. Everything I earn from the podcast, I put back into the podcast. Wait, I don't make any money on this podcast. Oh, well. Yes, it was the rent or buy a house is the question that it's still something you have to understand that Well, you have a lot of costs in a house. You're constantly working on a house. It takes up all your time. If something breaks down, you can't just call the landlord. You got to pay for someone to show up. But you get used to it. You work out a system. Learn as much as you can from your friends that own houses, your parents or whatever. Learn from them, because if they are if they are good homeowners, and you can learn a lot. And now we return you to our regularly scheduled program with Mike Matthews. You can learn a lot. Okay, so from the land of YouTube and huge YouTube influencers to TikTok, now Donald Trump is trying to become a TikTok influencer. The app he once tried to ban, it's a major coup 
that he has joined the app under the fi- under fire from Washington over its alleged ties to China. The move is an effort to reach potential voters, especially younger ones. I had a TikTok account, but I never downloaded the app for my phone. So I guess they caught wind of that, that I was only using their web site, the website that going through the, the browser. And I, they just canceled me. They can- I got canceled by TikTok. How sad is that? The GameStop stock was uh, soaring with Rory Ki- Roaring Kitties posts showing 5 million shares worth. Magnification. $116 million And uh, well that all plum- plummeted When he did that um, video Last week He is also GameStop it Skyrocketed over 100% At one point In early trading after a Reddit post Came from him Keith Gill is his real name But He has also hurt a lot of people So now Now the scars are there And people are going to be resentful towards him And then on another app Spotify Their stock popped 5% on price hike Stock was up 65% for the year The individual subscription plan Is about 12 bucks a month It jumped up from 11 bucks The duo plan is going to 17 bucks from 15 bucks And the family plan Will cost about 20 bucks up from 17 bucks Mr. President, are you suggesting President Biden's using cocaine? I don't know what he's using, but that was not, hey, he was higher than a kite. And and by the way, it was the worst, it was the worst address I've ever seen, State of the Nation. I'll tell you, State of the Union, that's not State of the Union because he doesn't, he doesn't represent us properly. That I can tell you. But I'm on TikTok, so I'll tell you all about it there. Moderna and Merck say experimental vaccine improved survival 96% in patients with deadly skin cancer Mm. That's amazing Oh, so I have for some reason been getting all these calls These spam calls on my regular cell phone It's so bad it was like one day 34 missed calls from spam callers And texts, texts that start early in the morning, I hate that So, because I'm getting a text, I'm thinking, oh, is it something happening at work? Do I need to check out what's going on? Because I'm a manager. Nope. Just spam calls. So, I checked again my do not call.gov that I had submitted my phone number. And I had four years ago. So, why that's still doing that? The Fascinating Material Project. FM Project. But that is fascinating and that exists, that still exists, that website, if you didn't know. Also, I got an email from Dropbox saying that they had disbanded my team. I had a a Dropbox, I've been using Dropbox actually since 2009, over 15 years, so. Ginormous. And I used it partly for the podcast because back in the day, you could only use a couple of different podcast sites, but you could also upload your podcast to Dropbox and share it to everyone, and people could listen a to your fine article. Call, 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 call. You silly, great, fat article. article. And people could listen to it that way. However, you couldn't create an RSS feed, which is that's a fine article to have because that's what really makes a podcast. Is that it has an RSS feed And that it's audio only Podcasts are not video No matter how they try to make that a thing In my world it will never be video But you know who is in, in my world Look who's here Hi Mark, it's Benita the Rodeo Queen How are you doing? <laughs> it's a disgruntled fiddle player tell you what What? All that RSS feed talk you're talking about so Are you talking about feed? Like, like cow feed? Or pig feed? Or horse feed? No, it's it's a different type of feed. You're not feeding an animal. It's unless you talk to the, you're calling the podcast listener an animal. How dare you? I didn't mean that. Sorry, podcast listener. I'm a disgruntled fiddle player. What can I tell you? Woo! That was an excellent performance. Thank you. Look who else is here. Hello, Mike. I make the least stupid house to my name. Mmm. Try that. 
Mmm. Wow. That root beer's got a lot of bubbles. What's in there? I put a little bit of carbonation in that root beer. Oh, boy. We'll travel into the incredible universe. Yes, root beer does have carbonation already, doesn't it? I... You know, the only person who could answer this would be none other than Duncan Sheik. Oh, he's not going to say anything because he's barely breathing. We love you, Mike. Anybody remember that song from the 90s, though? A little 90s flashback for you. If you would like to give me your little flashback to the 90s or any other interesting feedback, flashback, whatever back, here's the number to call. <laughs> Call Mike at the Cafe Anyway Hotline. Area code 510-228-4640. And with more ways to reach me, here we go to the mainframe and talk to A-Frame and find out all things Mike's Daily Podcast. Woo! Mike's Daily Podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com. Email Mike now at mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye.